you know, I've seen the evolution of VAP from you know, the days of when it was down on, on Furnace Street to, you know, they're always looking to grow and cater to the needs of the community. Just the amount of services that are offered now, I probably can't even name all of them, but they're just trying to cater and provide services to so many different avenues within the community. And, and that's a, a great thing that they're not stagnant and, and being satisfied with what they're doing. You know, they always want to keep growing and developing and getting better and more helpful. I was, I was a lead detective on a murder is a very trying one because that impacted um, both families on both sides because of the the situation um, that was there so I saw the advocate with the uh, with our victim's mother through the whole way you know and I talked to them um, throughout the process and afterwards and I just saw how much the advocate supported that mother and that family and it definitely gave me a sense of peace knowing that they had somebody because it's not easy to navigate the court system in general and just watch the test testimony and the case being presented of one of your loved ones who was murdered um, you know I can only imagine what that family is going through so to have the advocates there um, you know gave me a sense of peace for that family you know the police department you know we're in families lives at some of the very worst times um, possible and you know we have a certain capacity but also we need help there's other services that our community needs um, after we leave, long after we leave. You know, I was in our detective bureau for about a year and a half and, you know, had several uh, homicides and murders and, you know, working with VAP with the surviving family members um, to work through the court system and to manage the loss of a loved one and just to see um, those folks in action. You know, they're a huge asset to the police department, a huge asset to our community. Mm -hmm.